Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Crystalized Science. So today we will be discussing about a numerical that is from chapter number 9 that is gravitation. And this numerical is specifically from exercise and it's question number 17. Very interesting numerical. So a stone, a stone is falling from a certain height and the height is given as 100 meters. How many meters? 100 meters. Right? A stone is flowing from a height to the downward side due to gravity as well as one stone is also projected upwards with some velocity that is mentioned in the question as 25 meter per second. Question will be appearing on the screen. Okay. So let us assume some condition. Okay. So if I assume that if a stone is falling from a certain height and let us assume this distance as x. See, if this distance is x, then what will be the distance that is remaining distance? If the stone is thrown from downward side to the height. So that distance will be nothing but 100 minus x. Right? Now, remember the condition if a stone is falling from certain height, then stone would be initially at rest position. That means initial velocity will be equal to 0. That is u is equal to 0. And if any of the stone or any of the object is under free fall, then we can say that the gravitational acceleration of that object will be g is equal to 10 meter per second square. Right? If any object is falling from a certain height due to gravity, then its g is 10 meter per second square. Now, if any object is moving against gravity, then we can say that the g value will be minus 10 meter per second square right now let us calculate this numerical so if we see we have to calculate s and s dash right so let's consider first case when the stone is thrown from height to downward side right so when a stone is thrown in downward side then what formula we will use s is equal to ut plus half gt square Right? Now what we have assumed as u, u is equal to 0. So s is equal to 0 plus half. What is g for this case? That is 10. So 10 t square. Now we already know that s is nothing but x. So x will be equal to 5 t square. That is equation 1. I think here is clear. Okay. Right? So if a stone is thrown vertically upwards means this case okay then our distance is s dash 